Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to format a chart title, um, how to remove a legend, and then also how to add and format data labels. Okay, so let's get started. You can see here I have a 3D pie chart um, on its own chart sheet. And the first thing I want to do is um, add a chart title and do some formatting here. So I'll just go ahead and click right on the chart title to get it selected. And you can see it has the four um, little dots around it to show me that I do have um, it selected. Those are called selection handles. Uh, and then we're going to name the the pie chart enterprise fund expenditures. So I'm just going to start typing and you'll notice up here in the formula bar you can see what I'm typing. So let's see enterprise fund expenditures. And when I'm all done typing I'm going to press enter and you can see that the uh, title was uh, changed. So now let's let's actually go to the format tab. You can see I have my chart tools tab up here because I'm working on the chart. So in the format tab, um, we're going to change the title using some word art. So I have this word art styles area. I'm going to click the more button here so I can see all of the different word art styles that are available. And I think I'll choose this first one. Um, uh, last style in the first row, it's the fill gold accent color for soft bevel. So if ever you're wondering what each one is, just use your uh, mouse pointer, just hover over it. It will give you the tool tip to let you know what the name of it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and, um, and choose that. And you can see that uh, it's now changed to that, to the kind of the gold colored um, letters. And I definitely want to make my um, title a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is select the information. Now, this can get a little tricky because you want to make sure that you um, select that. So notice how my mouse pointer is now that eye beam. If I go out just a little bit, it changes into either a four-headed arrow or just a regular, um, you know, selection. But here I want to make sure that I get that eye beam in here. There we go. And then I'll make the selection. Okay. Um, and then they want us to change the font size to 32. So I'm going to use my little mini toolbar there and choose 32. And then I'm just going to click just kind of a little bit outside of um, the chart title to deselect it. And now I can see the um, chart title as I've made some changes to it. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So the next thing that we want to do is we're actually going to um, remove our legend. So if I scroll down just a little bit, you can see down here I have my legend. And then we're going to put data labels right on top of the pie chart. So I'm going to use the chart elements um, button right here. And that is something that is um, new to 2016. So if you're using a previous version, you won't see that um, that item. Uh, and here I can see that I have a check mark next to legend. So I'm simply going to click that to deselect the legend to turn it off. Okay. And then I want to do some work with data labels. So um, I'm actually going to click the little arrow over here and go down to more options. And this will open up the format data labels pane. So I can get several things done at one time. So under the label options area, I want to show the category name and percentage. So category name and percentage. And then I'm going to take off the value and show leader lines. And so what this does is instead of having the legend over here, I have on each one of the pie slices, I have the name corresponding to um, what you know data it's showing and then the percentage of the total. So you can do the percentages here. We did it on our other um, sheet over here. You can see we figured out the percentages but by choosing um, percentage here I can also show it on my um, my pie chart. And then I think the other thing that we want to do is center our label position. So I'll just scroll down a little bit and choose center and that way they're a little bit easier to read. Okay, and then um, last thing, they are a little small, so let's go ahead and change the font size just a little bit. So I'm going to right click on any of the selected um, data labels. Um, 
and then I want to go down to font to display the short the um, sorry the dialog box here and then I'm going to make it bold italic so under font style click the down arrow and let's choose bold and italic and then in the size box let's go up to 11 so we can um, if you do the little arrows it's going to take a little bit so if you just select it and type in 11 that would be good um, and that looks pretty good so I think we'll go ahead and click on OK and you can see our labels are a little bit bigger they're centered over each one of our um, our slices and they're showing the the name of the slice as well as the percentage okay so I'm all done with the format data labels pane I'm gonna go ahead and close that and I I'm just gonna click outside of the data labels so I can just see um, how everything's looking and I think that looks pretty good so I hope that that helps take care